Boom shakalaka, emergency video guys, I was wrong in my most recent prediction video and this is absolutely huge. So if you want to find out exactly what that is and what that means for your portfolio, stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we are talking about how I was wrong in my most recent prediction video right now here now before we get into that and exactly how i was wrong and how this is going to impact you like the video it helps out so much subscribe click the notification bell thank you for that now what are we talking about well in my most recent video i was talking about the current bitcoin trend how bitcoin is in this bullish trend that's batting up against twenty thousand dollars and it's forming a ascending triangle. And my friends, this is a bullish pattern in a bullish trend in a bull cycle. Well, I figured, you know, I'm so bullish about everything. What if the whole world isn't sunshine and rainbows and unicorns shooting Bitcoins out of their asses? Because guys, guess what? There's some bearish stuff going on. I mean, bearish alert. Mt. Gox may move 140,000 Bitcoin for the first time. They've been talking about this since 2018, but it could happen for the first time now. I mean, why not? And this could definitely impact the price. I mean, if everybody starts dumping, the price goes down. Simple economics, supply and demand. We know the supply is fixed, so if the demand drops, simple economics, price goes down. Now, let's, I mean, I'm a realist. Actually, I'm an optimist. I'll be honest. I'm an optimist. But sometimes I need to tone it down over a little bit and be a realist because the price could come down. It could go up. It could go down. One of my favorite traders over on TradingView, TradingShot, he's taking a look at what's going on with Bitcoin. And he's got a couple different possibilities for if this channel up doesn't hold. If this channel here, the one that we're in, if this doesn't hold, what potentially could we be looking at? He actually has a longer channel. My, this channel is from November 4th. Oh, that's a shorter channel. Excuse me. My channel is from October. I have a bigger channel. Tell all the ladies. But his channel is from November 4th. And basically, it's an ascending channel, this blue one. However, it looks like we're kind of bouncing off the bottom of it right here. And also coming up with the 4-hour MA200. Well, if it breaks through there, could be heading down. However, if it maintains it, especially since... He sees a little head and shoulders right here, inverted head and shoulders. We have a left shoulder here, a head, a right shoulder here. Well, that would put the price way up there around $22,000. Now, if we want to take a little look more in depth as to where Bitcoin price could end up, because I think this is more realistic, myself personally, I'm an optimist. But let's take a look at the pessimistic possibilities for this preponderous cryptocurrency Bitcoin. All right. Well, let's say it breaks through this because, you know, it's possible. Well, first thing we have on this, all of these lines here are previous support and resistance. I mean, I think that you can trade Bitcoin so accurately just using trend lines and previous support and resistance that is absolutely monumental. So right now we're finding support at the $18,000. If we break through there, we not only have the big even of $17,000, but we also have a really big support line from way back here. This is actually resistance then, but it would be support for us now from January of 2018. Well, that is a big support and resistance line right there at $17,000. However, could further break through there. And if we take a look at the volume profile right here above my head, you can see right here, $15,000 big support as well. But my friends, the biggest support, and we have to zoom out to really see this on the volume profile, is right here, these heavy red lines above my head. Okay, you can see that those are a lot of support and resistance throughout time. And the volume profile is showing it. I mean, volume profile, let me just draw the volume profile because it's not that easy to see. And it kind of goes squiggly all right here. And then right about here, right around $12,000, it just spikes and comes back down and then spikes even more. I mean, if we were to ever get down there, holy cow, that would be crazy. But it's certainly possible if we were to break through, because let's say we get some more foot. I mean, there's talk about China banning Bitcoin for like the hundredth time. Like I said, 
Mt. Gox releasing a whole bunch of Bitcoin. I mean, suppose Satoshi, we find out who he is. Well, all of a sudden, Bitcoin price would start dropping to 17000 to 15000 to 12000 And by that point, I mean, we're almost filling up the, uh, the CME gap. We might as well, at that point, we might as well just go down to 9500 fill the CME gap, and call it a day. But do I think this is actually going to happen? It's possible. I always know Bitcoin price can always go down. Okay, I don't trade it because it's difficult to know exactly where it's going to go. I invest in it because I understand economics, supply and demand, and hard money. When you're not able to print more of an asset, it becomes very valuable. So guys, I personally think that Bitcoin will turn around. I think that probably it'll break $20,000 around Christmas Day. And if you want to know why, you can check out that video I linked to earlier. But... We have good news for Bitcoin, and we have many more reasons for Bitcoin price to go up than for it to go down. As a matter of fact, today we have a new institutional player in Bitcoin, Mass Mutual, buying $100 million of Bitcoin, or I think it was like 18,000 Bitcoin, something around there. Uh, additionally, guys, I just have to say scoreboard. I mean, right now, PayPal and Cash App are buying more than the actual supply of Bitcoin. But they're not the only one. Guess what? In November, 27,881 Bitcoin were mined, and Grayscale bought 55,000 Bitcoin. Guys, it's simple math. Three companies are buying up about four times the amount of Bitcoin being mined. Okay? Do you know how quickly that takes for all of the Bitcoin to disappear? It happens pretty soon within the next year. So... All I can say is scoreboard, simple economics, and good things for Bitcoin. So guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.